Welcome everybody to HBK. Hello everybody, welcome back to HBK. Great to have you with us again this week. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all that we do. We want you to be encouraged to love God and to live for God. We are in the month of May and our theme for the month is 5K, run the race. Every week this month we are looking at a story about how we can work through our plan to strengthen our faith, to build up our stamina, to go through life with God. And last week we heard all about how that needs commitment. Commitment is making a plan and putting it into practice. And our plan for the month involves four words. Can you remember what they are? The first one we're going to look at today is hear and pray, talk and live. So today the whole focus is going to be on practice hearing from God. So we're going to do that by having a get going game, having a story from the Bible, looking at a craft, setting you a challenge and looking again at our memory verse for the month of May. So let's kick it all off with a get going game and it's time for a quiz. Over to me. This week we're going to have a quiz. Every answer is going to have two options, multiple choice, and you have to complete the action that is associated with the answer you think is correct. As an example, here is a practice question. What is the name of our theme this month? Is it 5K run the race or is it 50K run the race? If you think it's 5K, do this. If you think it's 50K, do this. Five, four, three, two, one, the answer was 5K. So hopefully you understand how it works now. Let's go. Question number one. In our last episode, Paul was writing to the Corinthians all about running so they could win an everlasting crown or was it a medal? Five seconds, make your choice. Do the action. One, two, three, four, five. It was a crown. Question number two. In our four part plan, which you just saw, the first word we look at is listen, or is it hear? Five seconds, one, two, three, four, five. The word is hear. And we're focusing the whole of the day on the word hear, how we can practice hearing from God. Question number three, my name is Derek, Ooh. or is it Daz? Mm, five seconds, one, two, Three, four, five. My name is Daz. Question number four. The last word in our four part plan is live or is it love? Five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. The last word in our plan is the word live. How can we live for God? Last question number five. Our theme for the whole month of May focuses around the idea of community or commitment. Ooh, five seconds to decide and do the action. One, two, three, four, five. The whole theme is all about commitment. How we can make a plan and put it into practice. Let us know how you did by sending us messages. <laughs> Hopefully you took some pictures of you doing the actions and joining in. We'd love to see how you got on. If you got five out of five, well done to you. Everybody else, I'm sure you did a good job as well. Thanks for getting involved. We hope that was fun. Well, hopefully you did okay at that quiz. Let's have a look at the Bible and see what it can teach us about being able to practice hearing from God. Hi everyone. Today we're looking at a really important message that Jesus told. He'd been tempted and he went into the wilderness. A little while later, he came back. And he went up a mountain with his friends and his disciples. In fact, a whole lot of people came to listen to what he had to say. And he said, those that hear my word and puts it into practice. I'll say that bit again, because it's really important and people often forget it. People that hear my words and put it into practice are like a wise man who builds his house upon the rock. Now, I don't know if you ever watched Fireman Sam, or you used to when you were younger, but I thought that Fireman Sam would be a good example of my wise man. And there he is. 
and, um, and he's going to build his house upon a rock. So here's my rock. I've got some tiles there, bit there made of rock, and I'm going to put them in here. And um, that's a fairly firm foundation. And that's what it's like to hear God's word and to put it into practice. So let's build Farman Sam's house. He's the wise man. It'll be a nice, simple house. And it's uh, a block there, a block there. Let's put them side by side. One going across. Nice, simple house. And um, let's see if Farman Sam can stand on his house. There he goes. So he's the wise man that's heard God's word and puts it into practice and he's built his house upon a rock. Jesus then went on to say that those that hear my words and don't put it into practice, they're like a foolish man. And uh, if you ever watched Fireman Sam, uh, you might remember Norman, Norman Price. Well, he was often quite foolish. So Norman, He's going to build his house upon some sand. And here I have a bucket of sand. So let's, um, so he's going to make his foundations out of sand. So let's just go and pour it all in. There we go. And um, it doesn't look quite so firm, does it? Not just a solid foundation. And, um, and let's build Sam, um, sorry, let's build Norman, the foolish man, the same house. So. A block goes there, and a block goes there, one across the top, one there, and we get Norman to sit on his house that's made the same stuff but built on sand. And they're both there, they both look quite happy, don't they? But then sometimes in life, difficulties come, bad things happen, things become hard and it's a bit like a rainfall so I think both Sam the wise man and Norman the foolish man are going to have a rain and, and to start with it rains quite lightly yeah nice little bit of rain not too difficult and the same for Sam, uh, same for the foolish man but then the real storms come and it gets really difficult and we remember that the wise man has heard God's word and has put it into practice. So when the real storms come, and there's lots of it, he is still as solid as the rock. But what about the foolish man when things get really tough for him? It's all... Oh, And do you know what? However much water we pour, and however hard it gets, the man who's heard God's word and puts it into practice stays firm on the foundation of Jesus. And the people that heard that story were absolutely amazed. And you might ask, well, how do we hear what Jesus has to say? Well, the Bible is a really good place to start. The story of the wise man and the foolish man is in the Bible. And perhaps we ought to try and read just short sections of it on a regular basis. And hearing what God has to say and putting it into practice should be part of our training plan. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for the story of the wise and the foolish builders. Father, we just pray that we will hear what you have to say to us and we will put it into practice. For we pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. So when we hear things from Jesus, we need to make sure we actually do something with that information and be like the wise man who built his house on the rock. Here's something you can make to remind you to build a solid, life on Jesus. Hello everyone! 
Wow, today's story was all about the wise and foolish builders. So I thought it would be really good to make a 3D paper house. Hi Leo, what's happening today? Hello Pippi, I was just saying that it will be good to make a paper house. Great, what do we need? We need some card, scissors, a pencil and glue. What about the shape for the house? We can get that from the HBC website. We just click on the HBK picture, like this. I see. The click here button opens up the house shape template. Yes. Now we can cut out the shape. And I see we now make the roof shape. Nice job. We use glue to stick on the door and heart shape. That's good. Next we glue the sides of the house together. That's right. And the last part is to fold the roof shape and put it onto the house. That's a great craft video. Bye for now. Bye everyone. Thanks Pippi for all your help. Why don't you have a go at making your own house? Bye for now. See you next time. And do share. Bye. Wow, they look fab. Hopefully you enjoy making those houses. Our challenge for you this month is to take a picture of yourself holding a house. Now, that could be a picture of you holding your little house that you've made. It could be a picture of you lined up, looking like you're holding up your own house or someone else's house or the biggest house you could see this week. Send us a picture of you holding a house. We'd love to see that. Okay, let's take another look at our memory verse for the month, which comes from 1 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 8. It says, training the body has some value, but being godly has value in every way. It promises health for the life you are now living and the life that is to come. Again, it's a little bit longer, but it's so important, the idea that godliness is so beneficial for us, not just in this life, but in our everlasting life as well. That is it, we are through for today's episode of HPK. We hope you've enjoyed joining us, we've loved putting it on for you. We pray you have a super Sunday, you enjoy the rest of your week and be blessed. We will see you next Sunday on the screen. Bye-bye. There you go. Okay, let's take another look at our memory verse for the month, which comes from the Bible. It's all tough, day, isn't it? Woo tough, dude. Well, hopefully, did it work. Well, hopefully, you did okay. That quiz worked through our plan to be calm. Okay, this week we're going to have a quiz, and you're going to have. Every answer.